First and foremost, I think we set ourselves the target of being the you know, best looking game on Vita. We wanted to really push what we could do technically. We wanted it to stand out as being part of the Killzone family. This is a big game, it's a big deal, and it's a new game, new story, and it stands on its own two feet. Killzone Mercenary starts just at the end of Killzone 1, where the ISA uh, are defending their home planet against a, kill, a Hellgas invasion uh, and then it takes us through going parallel with some of the events in Killzone 2, the, the invasion at the start. Um, as a mercenary what we're trying to show is a different side to the war uh, because you get handpicked for specific missions and more covert missions and, and behind the lines so it's kind of what went on in the background. So there are shout outs to some of the things that happened in Killzone 2 and the story uh, and it all ties in with that universe. What we've tried to do is introduce this idea of the mercenary character that actually is driven by cash. What that allows us to do is to create challenge modes and, and, and different settings. Maybe you've got half an hour window or a 20 minute window on the train to work so you can play one of the challenge modes or if you've got a larger block of time you can play the full blown level experience and really go for it. You know, you, then you can try the multiplayer as well and the cash binds all that together because it's persistent across all modes and there's a really cohesive wrapper for everything. In some missions you'll get uh, offered contracts from the Hellgas instead of the ISA so we actually get to see a slightly broader view of the war as opposed to just being one of the ISA kind of ground troops. What we try to do is create essentially a, a Vita on the wrist in game. It's your touchscreen interface that allows you to, to bring in these kind of tactical toys that you can deploy and, and, and attack people in certain ways. Brutal melee it, it requires gestural input, so it's a quick swipe depending on the motion of the, of the melee. So we've created far more brutal melees and really tried to make them directional, uh, directionally targeted. And, and make them kind of really impactful and, and visceral and satisfying so it feels kind of quite tactile and I think it, it fits well with the, the input and, and the gestural uh, nature of it. Because you're a mercenary, you're kind of a rock and roll guy, it's all about the fame and what we want to do is, is drive the players fame throughout the community so over the course of a week and a day you can be the top of the leaderboards and what we'll do is then assign you a Valor rank. When you play the game everyone has their own Valor card assigned and they drop it when they get shot and you can collect that, fill the deck you get kind of big cash rewards and, and bonuses and what it means is you can kind of target the kingpin of that day or you specifically uh, look for the cards that you need to complete your, your deck and it's kind of a really nice collection mechanic that drives through the multiplayer and gives it something new. Killzone Mercenary on the Vita coming to you September 17th this year.